Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to cook gobe, aka Gary and beans. So this is my bean. I have washed it. I'm gonna put a considerable amount of water sorry, in there and then uh, put it on fire. And it's gonna boil until it's super soft and uh, we do the rest. so my beans cooked now what I did was while it was cooking you might run out of water and the beans might not be soft it depends on your portion I'm cooking a large portion today so you can just quickly boil some hot water in a kettle and top up your water just to make sure it's, it's cooked now I like my beans um, sticky so I'm just pressing on it a little bit not too much just a little bit to mash it up lightly just a little bit to get it nice and sticky and we're cooked okay now we're gonna cut up plantains and uh, make the oil that goes with it so my plantains I'm gonna cut it up cut them up in uh, circles and uh, season it lightly with five spice and uh, a cube, uh, half a stock cube. Just a little bit of stock cube, plantain doesn't really need to be salty. Okay, so my plantains are cut up in circles. I'm gonna put with a sprinkle of five spice just regular five spice that you can get from the shop and one tiny stock cube found the stock cube crush that on and I'm gonna mix it up Obviously the plantains are ripe, these are ripe plantains, but they are not uh, super soft ripe. So what I do is I spice it and I let it sit for about 30 minutes before I fry. And for some reason, when you spice a uh, ripe plantain, for some reason, my finger is just sorry, for some reason when you spice ripe plantains, and you let them sit for a while they soften further I don't know. Oh, yeah. could be the spice so I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes until uh, I feel it's uh, it's gonna be soft to, to fry now as my plantain kind of marinates we're gonna make the sauce that's gonna be used for the beans Okay, we're gonna make the sauce now. We will be needing some red onions. Um, one whole tomato. And some pepper. Now, I, I love spice, I, lo I love heat in my food. So this is um, four pieces of pepper. One green, one yellow, and two red. Each different color of pepper um, gives a different aroma you know so I sometimes like to mix it up when I'm cooking now if you do not like spicy food or you do not like heat what you can do is use bell peppers instead I love the smell of bell peppers as well and uh, when I'm uh, making any kind of food that I want to have some kind of peppery aroma without the heat what I use is I use bell peppers and you can also use um, a few sprinkles of black pepper as well because it doesn't uh, carry as much heat. So I'm going to pulse this right now. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm gonna put in my palm oil into my um, saucepan, my warm saucepan. Usually, um, this food, uh, gobe or gar uh, rice, um, I'm sorry, uh, gari and beans is usually um, eaten with just palm oil. So the beans, palm oil, and fried ripe plantains. But I like to pack a little bit more flavor in mine. So this is a personal recipe that I make. I, I usually make for myself. Now my pepper onions oh, so spicy <laughs> it's pulsed nicely I do not want it to be browned smooth just want it to pulse a little bit then and if you do not have a processor you can just chop it up into big chunks and put it in the palm oil that also works Palm oil smokes when it's very hot. So when I'm cooking with it, I do not wait for it to get super hot before I put my food in because it smokes and it, it can uh, cause you to cough. So I'm gonna put this in right now. Right, isn't this beautiful? So, so beautiful. <laughs> anyway, uh, just stir that in. You can see the palm oil is now uh, heating up a little bit, so it's just gonna heat together with a little uh, pulsed bridge that I just put in there. And then, if you uh, watched my previous uh, videos, you would see that uh, dawa dawa represented when I was cooking uh, that simple recipe for okra. I'm gonna put a little bit of dawa dawa here as well. Just for some funk. Just to put some pack some funk in here. If you do not have dawa dawa, you can use momoni. If you don't know what momoni is, it is a type of salted uh, cured uh, fresh fish that is used to spice up food a little bit. If you do not have momoni, you can use um, Asian shrimp paste. It also has the same funk as dawa dawa or uh, momoni. It's called Asian shrimp paste and it can be found in Indian and uh, a lot of Asian cooking. So if you go to any Asian grocery marts, they definitely have the shrimp paste for sale and you can uh, buy from there and use it. So this is gonna cook on high heat, in really high heat. I want it to basically fry up a little bit and, and for the juices to all cook through. I want the juices and the onions and the peppers and everything to cook through. Okay, so my uh, sauce is cooking. I'm gonna put the uh, stock cubes in there. One um, soy stock cube and one shrimp flavored stock cube. You can also, if you have a uh, dried powdered shrimps, you can put that in there. Yeah. And just check it out. And give it a stir. It smells so good already. That's great. Now I have noticed whilst I was stirring that it's a little it's getting a little stuck to the bottom and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna reduce the heat and still let it cook because now it's a little stewy saucy kind of I need it to cook further. I need the juices to cook out further. Because the idea, the idea is to flavor the oil. Because that is what we eat the beans with, the oil. Not necessarily the sauce. So I'm using these to 
put in to pack in flavor mainly for my oil and obviously I, I prefer to eat mine with a little bit of the sauce as well. Okay. Okay, so my sauce is uh, cooked. It's got a little brown on it. The color is darkened a little bit. It's a little darker than like when I started. And it's cooked. And uh, we're gonna deep fry the plantains now. They've been sitting for a while now and they're ready to go into the hot oil. Okay, my plantains are in the oil now. They're cooking, they're frying. Uh, they're gonna be ready and nice and brown real soon. And we can have a delicious meal. Okay, my plantains are ready, nice and golden and crispy. And it's ready, we're ready to eat. Start with a scoop of the beans. Add my oil or sauce, oil sauce. <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Served like this is ready. If you are a vegetarian and you do not, or you are on a no carb diet served like this is ready to eat it looks so beautiful and ready to eat but i like to take it a little further by adding about two tablespoons of curry this is made from cassava and it's available in every african shop and for my africans we all know what curry is <laughs> so i'm gonna just sprinkle that on top for texture, it's really for texture. Yeah, and then uh, finish up with a little drizzle of my sauce. Yes, and my ready-made plantains. This up here. So good, so good. I enjoy eating my beans with a lot of contains, a whole lot of it. So here we are. This is curry and beans or gobe. beans my recipe thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe I'm gonna go eat now bye <laughs>